Hello, welcome to the statistics class. We continue our simple linear regression and today I will exactly prove the relationship between the coefficient of correlation and the coefficient of determination. I haven't seen any books where they exactly prove that relationship and this obviously will be first time on the YouTube and by the way, if you happen to find some sources, some books where they exactly prove it, please let me know, text me or message me. As you remember, we derived the slope of the simple linear regression, beta 1, given by those formulas. I exactly derived in two ways, using calculus and pre-calculus approach, and also we derived beta 0, the intercept of the simple linear regression, which is given by this model y hat in the slope intercept form. Also, the coefficient of correlation for the linear relationship was introduced by normalizing the covariance coefficient. And the formulas are derived here. And later on, we introduced more important coefficient of determination, which describes the measure of how close are your points to the line. And it's actually more powerful coefficient. It works not only for the linear, but also for curve linear any types of trends and it was defined as the ratio of the variation explained by my by the regression line of the total variation sse explained over the sst it's a simple ANOVA model sst consists of two parameters here sse explained plus ssr residuals we have those fluctuations around the line we cannot explain them yet. So, explain variation over the total. The explain is SST minus the residuals over this SST, and it's equal to one minus SSR residuals over the total. SSR residuals, again, that's the variation which cannot be explained by the regression line over the total, and one minus that ratio will be the complement in this case to components. The complement, which is the ratio of explained vari variation explained by the regression line of the total variation. And all the books say that 1 minus that ratio is equal to r squared. It's actually the correlation coefficient squared. But the curious student would ask how to show that, how to prove that this really comes into r squared. This is what I will try. So this is what we'll do today. First of all, SSR residuals, as you know, is equal to the summation yi minus y hat squared. Yeah? I runs from 1 to m, which is equal to the summation yi minus y hat. I will use this formula for the y hat minus beta 0 minus beta 1 x i squared and it's equal to the summation y i minus instead of beta 0 i'll use this formula we derived before so minus y bar minus minus plus beta 1 x bar and one more term minus beta 1 xi beta 1 out so we'll get minus xi and everything is squared everything is squared and now we have here the square of the sum and you all know how to expand it and it's equal to the summation of yi minus y bar squared plus beta 1 squared beta 1 is a constant, pull it out of the sum, beta 1 squared what's under the sum? x bar minus x i squared and plus twice that product 2 beta 1's out and here are the summation of y i minus y bar multiplied by x bar minus x i 
everywhere my summation indices are from 1 to m, from 1 to m, from 1 to m, and equal to the summation 1 to m, y i minus y bar squared plus beta 1 squared the summation i 1 to m x bar minus x i squared plus 2 beta 1 and the summation and let me distribute it we call it foil it yeah will be x bar which is a constant and pull it out of the sum x bar y i under the sum plus 2 beta 1 and again x bar and y bar under the summation x bar y bar under the summation it's actually with a minus sign minus 2 beta 1 x summation x i y i both under the summation indices and the last one is plus 2 beta 1 y bar is out summation x i yep y bar is constant out summation x let me modify it so it is equal to into the summation of y i minus y bar squared plus beta 1 squared the summation of x bar minus x i squared here i have the summation of y i's it's actually remember y bar is equal to the summation of y i's over n which means that y bar by n is the summation of all y i's so this is what I'm, the summation of y i's is n by y bar and uh, the same thing summation of x i's the n by x bar we discussed that before in the analysis of variance so next term will be plus 2 beta 1 x bar and y bar so we'll be at n x bar y bar yep minus 2 beta 1 and what is that x bar y bar multiplied by this pairwise product under the summation from 1 to n there is no e i index there so it will be just added to itself n times. So it will be m x bar y bar. That's this summation. Yeah? And now we'll combine those two. If I take minus two beta one out, we'll be here the summation x i y i minus and again two beta out n x bar y bar and here we have cancellation two like terms plus 2 beta 1 n x bar y bar minus 2 beta 1 n x bar y bar continue so what is that in the parentheses here we will use exactly if you look at the star formula our slope formula that's exactly my numerator yeah so it's equal to it's equal to beta one by denom. Yeah, denom. I multiply beta one, beta one by this denominator, I get this numerator. So I will use use star. Use use star formula and I will get the summation y i minus y bar squared plus beta 1 squared summation x i minus x bar squared you can see I can interchange this difference for the square it does not matter you know that 
and minus two beta one minus two beta one multiplied by this beta one. So minus two beta one square multiplied by the denom, which is that value. So minus two beta one, what's there is the summation of x i squared minus m x bar squared. So let me continue modifying my result. So what I see here, here I have x i and x bar. Also previous term x i and x bar. I'll try to modify maybe there will be like terms and actually they turn out to be like terms if I subtract mx bar squared and add mx bar squared the change the value is preserved does not change but in this case this is what I will get summation y i minus y bar squared plus beta 1 squared beta 1 squared the summation of x i minus x bar squared and here I have minus 2 beta 1 squared so there is this summation of x i squared minus m x bar squared minus m x so minus 2 m x bar squared yeah? minus 2 m x bar squared and plus m x bar squared let me carefully modify that and so actually I can write this minus 2 m x bar by x bar m by x bar is exactly the summation of all the x values so this is what I will use here so the summation of y i minus y bar squared plus beta 1 squared the summation of x i minus x bar squared and minus 2 beta 1 squared here at the summation of x i squared so minus 2 x bar by the summation of x i yeah? minus 2 x bar and another n x bar is just the summation of x i and the last term that's x bar squared multiplied by itself uh, by m which means it's being added to itself and up it's a summation also from 1 to m the same index so it plus the summation of x bar squared so i runs from 1 to m i runs from 1 to m everywhere i runs from 1 to m. everywhere i runs from 1 to m i just didn't write it just keep it in mind remember it it's a lot to write yeah. so it's equal to so we have the same indices for the summations here in summation of y i minus y bar is squared plus beta 1 squared the summation of x i minus x bar squared minus 2 beta 1 squared and see what I have here now since my indices are the same for all the summations indices are the same I can wrap them up combine them onto, under one summation so it will be equal to the summation i runs from 1 to m 1 to m i runs from 1 to m here I have x i squared minus 2x bar x i yeah, minus 2x bar x i the summation is all m plus x bar squared everything is under that summation it's beautiful formula works out nicely y r minus y bar squared i runs from 1 to m plus beta 1 squared summation x i minus x bar squared i runs from 1 to m and here at minus 2 beta 1 squared and under the summation it's exactly the square of the difference you can see that that's x i 
minus x bar, everything squared. And look at that, very works out very nicely. We just got like terms, let's combine them. And it's equal to, and it's equal to the summation y i minus y bar <coughs> squared one to n plus beta, that's actually plus beta one squared minus two beta one squared. The same summation. So we'll be minus beta one squared. So we'll minus beta one squared. The same summation x i minus x bar squared. And this is exactly I just started from here for my SSR re residual. I started here, equal equal all the way, transformed it all the way. This serpentine, the snake-like transformation up to this point, and this is SSR residual. This is actually simplifies comes to SSR residuals, which is this difference. Now let's substitute SSR residual. I will substitute it to the double star formula, one minus that. Yeah. So the two to the double star, and we almost will be there. So which means double star is one minus SSR residuals is that difference. So the summation y i minus y bar squared minus beta one squared summation x i minus x bar squared divided by the SST total, which is summation y i minus y bar squared. So that's exactly one. One minus one is zero. A minus and this minus is plus. So it's equal to beta one squared, the summation of x i minus x bar squared over the summation of y i minus y bar squared. Now let me continue. This is my coefficient determination. It was established this way. Now we'll substitute the value for beta one. Beta one formula is this one. It's everything is squared. So the, the summation of x i y i minus n x bar y bar over summation x i squared minus n x bar squared and this everything everything is squared that's my beta one squared and multiply it by this by the way now let's modify that summation yeah this summation will extend as x i squared minus twice the product two x i x bar plus x bar squared Everything is under summation, yeah? Under summation. And the same for the denominator. Y i squared minus two y i, y bar plus y bar squared. Let's see the same indices. Now I can distribute my summation for all the terms. And this is what I will get. I will get, let me rewrite this. X i, y i minus n x bar y bar this is going to be squared over denom squared x y squared minus n x bar squared again squared i'm just squaring both of them denom numerator and denominator and here i have the, I have the summation of x i squared summation x i squared look at this minus two x bar and summation of x i's. We just discussed it. The summation of x i's is n x bar. So I have x bar by x bar x bar squared. And m is here, n x bar. Yeah? And I have a summation of x bar squared. So that's x bar squared is being added to itself n times, which means that I need to just multiply it by m plus m x bar squared. I hope that's clear. I just distributed my summation 
everywhere. Summation of that is n x bar squared. Right? And summation of second term will give me this 2 n x bar squared plus n x bar squared. The like terms actually over the same for the denom summation y bar y i squared minus 2 n y bar squared plus n y bar squared. As you can see, my summation belongs to the first terms only. Those terms already were included into my summation. So it's just equal to, look at that, I can rewrite it this way, x i y i minus n x bar y bar, i raised from 1 to n over, this is squared, the summation of x i squared minus n x bar squared, again squared, and uh, this is the summation of x i squared minus 2 n plus n is just minus n x bar squared minus n x bar squared and you can see exactly I can reduce those factors they're the same okay, I can reduce them the denominator stays as summation y i squared minus n y bar squared so I can I can reduce this factor and no power of two here. So which is actually I can write it as summation of x i y i minus n x bar y bar over the square. So use let's say square here. Now this value for the x is not squared, but we can represented the square with square, square root. So I can just write the square root of the sum of x i squared minus n x bar squared and squared by another square root of the summation of y i squared minus m y bar squared squared you can see what all the squares here and it's equal to it's a, I can just use everything all the squares outside it's equal to x i y i summation minus n x bar y bar over the root the summation x i squared minus n x bar squared almost there almost there and another root summation y i squared minus n y bar squared everything is squared yeah i can pull out second power outside because the second power second power so pull it outside i can write it this way. Now, very simple modification. Multiply both numerator denominator by n non-zero value. n is non-zero value. I can do that to be consistent with the formula for the R. Once I multiply, let me use another color. Once I multiply by n, by n, and by n. So I'll bring in my n. I'll bring my n in there. I'll bring it in there. M and M bring it in there. So which is equal to I mean inside of the square in here multiply by M so it will be equal to M by the summation X I Y I minus look at this M X bar and another n by y bar. So n x bar is summation of x i's, n y bar is summation of y i's. So I can write this summation of x i's by the summation of y i's over. Now, if my n is here, I'll bring root of n here and the root of m here. 
and it will give me the root will be m up from the summation x i squared m m again m squared by x bar squared so it's m x bar is summation of x i another m x bar is another summation of x i so the summation of x i is multiplied by itself so that's this square the summation of x i square this way i just brought square root of m under here and another square root of m for my y variable so the m is summation of y i square minus m by this and another m by this so n squared by y bar squared m by y bar is the summation of y i's and another n y y bar another summation of y i's so the minus the summation of y i's everything is square close parent square and look at this look at what we just got here we have practically done what's inside of the square that's exactly my formula for the r you can see that the correlation coefficient squared so it's equal to r squared beautifully works out very nicely and this is actually the end of the proof i hope that was clear interesting useful informative and i also hope you definitely enjoyed that thank you very much talk to you soon bye bye